Hello my friends and welcome to another Tuesday of Tutorial. I am Leonardo Perez Nieto and today I'm very very happy because I was just informed that my new book is now available in all the Barnes & Noble bookstores and all the Michaels stores across the US. And if you don't live in the US, you can order it in their websites or on Amazon. Today, we will paint a line. I place the palette to the right of the canvas so that you could see more or less what I'm doing. We begin with some oxide of chromium green. Previously, I had already given a tone to the canvas and this one dried. I sketched the lemons. One will be in profile and the other one cut in half. Then with a mixture of burnt sienna, which is a reddish brown, and a sepia, which is a dark brown, we begin painting the surface where the lemons are standing. And we can change the tone, adding some ochre and other colors. The horizontal part will be a little bit lighter because it gets more light, while the vertical part, that is the lower part of the painting, will be in shadow. And we also place some shadows under the lemons. The background will be dark with sepia and some touches of cold black. That's a bluish black. We pick up again the oxide of chromium, which will be the main color for the limes. The curved line that I painted is to indicate more or less where the shade will be. Good. For the areas of light, I can modify the green with some light yellow. As you can see, I apply the paint with short strokes. I don't pick up paint and then extend it on the canvas as if I were painting a wall. Rather, I apply it in very short strokes, picking up more paint often so as to apply it pretty thick, this to give the texture of the line. I would like to thank all the people who downloaded the new Finer Tips mobile app. In fact, this week, which was the first week since we launched it, if we add up Finer Tips app and the Spanish version, which is called Arte Divierte, Art is Fun, there were nearly 10,000 downloads. But what makes me happier is all your nice comments, because I see that you did love it and that it is being helpful to you. So thank you. And if you don't have it yet, you can download it for Apple and Android devices from the Apple Store and Google Play respectively. The lime on the inside is a little bit more yellow and toward the center it may be a little bit darker. Very good! Using some flake white we can give it some little reflections so that it looks fresh and juicy. That even made my mouth water. <laughs> good! I love painting, it is so relaxing and fun. We do the shadow. Of course, I'm doing all of this on one sitting and therefore the paint is still wet. This is good because when I apply it, I can then blend it with the one that is already there. This of course is because I am painting with oil. The acrylic paint, on the other hand, dries almost immediately. I darken this area to make more evident the change of plane. That looks better. We give it the last touches and it's ready! If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, share it to your friends and subscribe to Fine Art Tips. You know where to follow me, the links are below. And I will see you on Tuesday! <laughs>